Hey, it's just Builder, and today we're going to be making electricity. So you know how you can convert electricity into motion. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? By putting electricity through a copper coil and a rod something. I haven't looked up the DC motors yet. But it, So it's a motor, right? It's An electric motor? Mm -hmm. So what do you think would happen if you would run the motor and then see if electricity would come on the other side? Do you well, think that would work? Um, speaking that we have fans here, it's it's like a one-way current. So, so you don't think electricity would go back the other way? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Whenever I take the, uh, P, this thing out of, out of the plug, um, when I ha take out my charger for my laptop, I touch it, it doesn't discharge into my body. The, this you could perfectly touch. Yeah, but is the fan moving? No. Okay. But my, but my battery, whenever you take it out, there's still a green light, which means there's electricity. Oh, still okay. Well, this is a good video for you then, Fritz, because we're going to be discussing the difference between an alternating current and a direct current. Do you know what that is? Direct, direct for uh, battery light current, current that comes out of the battery, and alternate is what, alternating is what comes out of the plug. Okay, well that's good. All right, so what we've got, we've got an experiment we're gonna do, Fritz. Mm -hmm. So I have your fan from your bed. Mm -hmm. Well, no, actually, this is, that's the dishes fan, right? This is mm -hmm. the the dish, the dishwasher fan to dry the dishes. But it's like the one <laughs> in my bed. Yeah, so it's a little tiny fan, and that's not plugged in. So you've got the plug in your hand, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've got a big fan, and I've got that one plugged in. So we're gonna do with that one is we're gonna make some wind. And what we've got is a voltmeter, like that. Mm -hmm. But you, you can't have these touch each other, right? I know, they're not. So, so maybe what we'll do is here. Try my best to do Okay, to so how about just lay it on the ground? Yeah, but then they'll touch and, each other. Well, no, because you just hold it like this. Uh. And just make sure it's holding it, okay? Okay, and then we've got our voltmeter right here. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of different settings on this thing. So there's definitely alternating current and direct current. So here, let's put it on direct current. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the fan on, so it might get a little windy in here, okay? So right now, there's, you know, like you're right, there's no current coming out of the fan right now, right? Because mm -hmm. we can touch it, no problem. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the fan on. Oh, we get it started. There goes. So, what's it doing? It's giving a small amount of current. Well, it's a very small amount, but it's going between negative and positive. You mm -hmm. see it? Yeah. See the negative and then the positive? Mm -hmm. So, what would you say that that kind of current is then, if it's alternating? <laughs> <laughs> So, but it's not making a solid current. Mm -hmm. Like, because I can touch it, there's not, there's hardly any current in it. I mean, it's, this is, you know, one volt would be here. So it's in a hundredths of a volt. I put it on millivolts maybe. But you could really see how it goes from positive to negative. Mm -hmm. You see how it's doing that? Yeah. Going from positive to negative. So, I mean, it's, it's really jumping back and forth. So what's, what it is, Fritz, is that motor in this fan that we've got going right there is an alternating current motor. It's an AC motor, right? Mm -hmm. And that, that would make sense because you've got the magnets and the way that a motor works, Fritz, mm -hmm. is the, the magnets of a motor go back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. So it produces a current. So here's a problem. You think, could, could you run that current with your laptop or plug anything into it? Nope. Well, why not? Because the amount of current that my uh, laptop requires is out of a wall socket. And this is not the amount of wall socket because the wall socket, uh, most American wall sockets output um, 10 volts. No, 120. Yeah, 120. Okay, but what you need is like a 10 volt DC. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Your laptop needs DC voltage and the fan is producing AC voltage. So, nope. So it's not gonna work. What I've got for you 
is a power supply. Mm -hmm. And so you would plug this into the wall, right? Uh-huh. Here, why don't we turn the fan off? Yeah. Yeah, I can't hear anything. There we go. So we would plug that into the wall, right? And, mm -hmm. and with that, you would convert AC to DC? That's right, for whatever. And so this one actually is for a hard drive. So I found I found this, this is mommy's for a hard drive. But the only reason why I picked it is so I can actually stick the probe inside to get one side or the other, mm -hmm. okay? So right now, if we plug this thing in the wall, right? So let's plug that in the wall. And I did read on the box, and it should have said 12 volts. So we're going to find on our, our power meter. So for one thing, we need to put it on volts. OK. And you got to stick one side in there. Twelve. Look at that. 12.3 volts. Just like we said, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's converting. Mm -hmm. the wall from alternating current to DC current. Mm -hmm. So I have an idea, Fritz. What do you think, what would we need to convert the power from our fan motor that converts into AC power into DC power? Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? That? That thing? Yeah. Here, well, why don't you unplug it? So what this thing is, Fritz, is it's actually called a rectifier. That's, that's the, the technical name for something that converts AC to DC. Mm -hmm. Here, all right, so now that you unplugged it, let's plug it back into our voltmeter. And it's just sitting there. See, the problem is, is there's actually, it's gonna hold the charge, so but, it's gonna, to, but it's gonna start falling. So we have to do So like, see how it's falling? Mm -hmm. That's usually how I get the uh, current out of my laptop. I just go, me, 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 me. Yeah, so but probably. I, just plug, I plug it into my laptop, but it's out of the wall socket, and then I go, and I just do some, I just push yeah. a bunch of keys and that will <laughs> get the voltage out. Yeah. So it's coming down. So there was quite a bit of uh, voltage just left in it, but we're going to try to dissipate this. Discharge it. And yeah, discharge it and try to get as much voltage out of it as we can. So that so, we could probably bust it open or something? Well, no, we're not going to bust it open, but this might require more than one, two pairs of hands, mm -hmm. which, which we happen to have because I've got a pair of hands. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking of doing is, was we saw what came out of the fan, yeah. right? This was the fan. Mm -hmm. And we, weren't getting, we were getting DC out of it, but we were getting an alternating current DC. So it was not direct current, so we couldn't do anything with it. So what do you think if we somehow connected this to this, and then tried to find out what the charge is? You think we would get any sort of charge? Yeah. Okay, so while we have this, why don't you put your finger right here, okay? Because that's holding that together. And that's been going down, all right? For a long time. Yeah, I don't, it's getting near zero. But the thing is, I'm not sure how much charge we'll get to, to if this will do anything to it. So let me turn the fan back on, all right? So I got our fan. Two million years later. And I'm gonna turn it on max. See if I can get this thing. I gotta like, get it started. There we go. All right, it's going. All right, let's go back to our meter. All right, now let's see what happens. I have no idea. The, the problem is this is gonna be such small amount of power. I don't know if it's gonna do anything to this. Well, you know, you know what I've noticed? What? It's falling slower. It, no, it is falling slower before you put it on. I don't know. The problem is it's probably not low enough yet to even see the difference. No. Let's turn on millivolts. Probably still not enough juice. Probably got dissipated even more to to even see a difference. Mm, two million years. I know. Later. <laughs> I never thought this. Tr 
charging that would take so long. Yeah. I usually just press the keys like three or four times when I take my charger out of the wall socket and, it, and it's discharged. Okay, so Fritz, so here's, here's the, um, the end result of this. How much power do you think we could actually generate using this method if we put the fan out in the, in the air um, and try to generate power? Very little. Extremely little, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's a reason. So, you know, for here, for one thing, the fan's not generating very much power. Because it's plus, not big enough. Plus then we've got to convert it. And of course, the only reason why I picked this one was because I can fit my leads in it. But otherwise you, you lose like 30% on the conversion because half of it's generated in the heat. So it's a, it's a very expensive process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there is a DC motor. Well, no, there is a, a DC power generator that you ride in every day. The most efficient one that I can think of. The car. The car. Yeah, because the alternator in the car has these things in it. It has multiple rectifiers inside of it. Mm -hmm. And those rectifiers are, you know, pretty well efficient. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to generate power. Start the car. Yeah, so, and in fact, generators that you buy, you know, like those generators they sell at the stores, mm -hmm. all it is is a gas motor and it turns an alternator like a car alternator and that's it because those are the most efficient ways to do that so the the gist of the story is fritz you can't generate power by taking an electric motor and trying to get the power backwards because you get the wrong kind of power right mm -hmm. and then you got to convert it back anyway maybe we'll try some other experiments what do you think mm -hmm. thanks for joining us today and this experiment maybe you should send us more ideas because we would love to do more bye